Chris Vector is a rank 145 ACP primary in the PDW class. Its notable features are its extremely high fire rate of 1200 while still maintaining a 3 hit kill, as well as its patented Super V recoil system which allows it to keep very manageable recoil which can allow it to kill at even this kind of range. Its damage is actually good if not exceptional in class, especially for the RPM at 35, making it a 3 shot kill to about 35 studs, while almost being a 2 hit kill to the head. It only does like 49.5 damage, but it's pretty close. It is worth noting that its min damage range is not very good, and it is a 6 hit kill at range with 17 min, which does not allow a lot of room to get a 5 hit kill unless you're hitting multiple headshots. It has no special multipliers, but it does actually have pretty good velocity for a 45 ACP PDW and pretty typical in class penetration at 0.5 studs. The noticeable downsides of this gun are probably just the 25 rounds in the mag with a plus one. It does have 150 reserve ammo and it has a pretty fast reload time, pretty average in class, but not super fast, especially for 25 rounds. And with 1200 RPM, you will be firing about 20 rounds per second, which means it will take about exactly 1.25 seconds to empty an entire mag even with a plus one. This means that you will be reloading a lot when using this gun, but with 7 magazines of reserve ammo, that's not too bad. Well, 1 mag already in the gun and 6 in reserve, so 7 mags overall. Its handling, walk speed, and reload speeds are all pretty good for its class, and overall I would say this gun has no defining downsides except for the very, very high rate of ammo consumption. That's the only downside of this gun, really. Now, getting on to conversions, the Chris Vector has 3 conversions, along with a few ammo types that aren't really that big of a deal. First off, we have the 9mm conversion. Conversion. This conversion is actually incredibly solid because it increases magazine capacity from 25 rounds to 33 along with giving you plenty of extra reserve. This does not change your RPM which means you will be able to fire for a little bit longer, about 1.5 seconds, and you'll also get lower recoil. The main drawback of this is a lot worse damage. Instead of a 3 to a 6 hit, you are now a 4 to a 7 hit with worse damage ranges overall. A better max range, but a worse min range. This means at 95 studs without the long barrel, you will be hitting a 7 hit kill, which is very, very bad for its class. Keep in mind, it used to not be able to do that until they nerfed the K7 as well as Vector 9 mil. Next, we have the 357 SIG conversion. Now, the 357 SIG is a very notable conversion because, objectively speaking, you might think this is an upgrade. It allows the gun to 2 hit kill head up close, 3 hit kill to the body a little bit farther, and 5 hit kill all ranges. It also increases pen and velocity. Major drawbacks are, of course, a very small magazine at 16 rounds, 17 with a plus one and the fact that you have awful recoil this is actually not a very good conversion because of one major problem it's not the recoil it's not the capacity it's the reload speed the reload speed does not get faster with this conversion which is so stupid because you have a smaller magazine and more recoil so it's harder to hit your shots but you have a really really trash reload speed for 17 bullets so do not use this conversion except if you want some really good cqc performance and you like a little bit more kick in your chris vector lastly we kind of have a SIG meets 9mm, but kind of even more into that 9mm specification, but with a smaller magazine. And that is, of course, the 22 long rifle conversion. 22 LR conversion will basically give you a 10 round magazine with 200 rounds in reserve. So if you would like to have a ton of reserve ammo, this is pretty good. It also makes your reload speed a bit faster. However, it does have the major drawback of still having kind of an awful empty reload time, but it still has a pretty fast attack reload time, with the huge drawback of having 25 damage up close and 12 at range. That is a 9 hit kill at range and a 4 hit kill a little bit, but usually a 5 hit kill in CQC. This does allow it to 2 hit kill head, technically speaking, but it's a 5 hit kill head at range, which is not that great considering if you're only hitting heads, that's half of your magazine, and if you're not, that is every round except for one. So basically, this is completely awful at range, and 10 bullets is generally not enough to kill more than one player, and it even sometimes struggles to kill one. So 22 long rifle is kind of just a meme ammo type, I do not recommend this one. If I were to recommend a single ammo type, it would be 9mm or not. I really like the 45 ACP Vector, it hits hard, it's pretty easy to control. It doesn't have a ton of huge drawbacks except for the high rate of ammo consumption. If you don't like the guns that can only shoot for one second without dumping mass, I do not recommend the Vector for you. Overall, the Chris Vector is one of my favorite guns on the game. My recommended 
good setup is Coyote Sight, Compensator, or Long Barrel if you want it, although I don't really recommend Long Barrel. Stubby Grip, but you could use Folding if you wanted to. Green Lancer or Remove Stock if you want the faster handling but higher recoil. And None or 9mm. I usually just use Coyote, Compensator, Stubby Grip, Green Laser, and None though. If you guys did enjoy this gun review though, make sure to like and sub because I do have a lot of fun making these and I have not made one in like a year and a half. So yeah, make sure to like and sub and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.